Hi, I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. Welcome to the second half of our video tour dedicated to the neighborhood of Chelsea here in Manhattan, New York. If you missed the first episode, you can find it on our YouTube channel. This neighborhood is roughly bordered by 14th Street to the south, 30th Street to the north, 6th Avenue to the east, and the Hudson River and West Street to the west. In our first episode, we looked at the history of Chelsea, including the origin of its name, we took you to the Limelight Marketplace, some art galleries along 20th Street, and the Hudson River Park. Now when the sun starts to set, one of the best places to be in Chelsea is the High Line. The High Line was an elevated railway that delivered goods up and down the west side of Manhattan until it was abandoned in the 80s. Just recently, the High Line was renovated to serve as a park, running from Gansvoort Street in the Meatpacking District to West 34th Street between 10th and 11th Avenues. It's a great place to meet friends, take a leisurely walk, or have a picnic. You'll want to keep an eye out for some notable new architecture along the High Line. Here are a few locations. The IAC building at 555 West 18th Street. The Chelsea Modern at 447 West 18th Street. And Jean Nouvel's Vision Machine at 111th Avenue. For you fashion buffs out there, Chelsea is home to the Fashion Institute of Technology, the internationally recognized college for design, fashion, communications, art, and business. FIT's incredible campus takes up two square blocks between 28th and 26th Street on 8th Avenue. For you political buffs, you'll want to note that the National Office of the Communist Party USA is located on the 8th floor of 235 West 23rd Street. For French popular culture buffs, stop by the St. Vincent de Paul Church on 23rd Street. Edith Piaf was married here in 1952. If you're looking to have some fun in Chelsea, you'll find theaters, dance classes, and even comedy clubs. In the mood for a laugh? The Gotham Comedy Club on West 23rd Street is a sleek and elegant lounge that hosts some of New York's finest comedy. Or check out the famous Upright Citizens Brigade on West 26th Street. For a show or a concert, here are a few of my favorite Chelsea venues. The Joyce Theatre at 175 8th Avenue. The Highline Ballroom at 431 West 16th Street. And the Magnet Theatre at 254 West 29th Street. You'll find a great market in the area. The Chelsea Market borders the Meatpacking District and Chelsea. This New York food destination aims to please. Inside the old National Biscuit Company's factory, we can find a marketplace representing the best that New York has to offer. Here you can find vendors unique to the New York area, selling everything from sushi to gelato. Because Chelsea is such a melting pot of different cultures, and the fact that you have such great sources for food, like the Chelsea Market, the Farmer's Market at Union Square not far from here, you really can eat whatever you like. And if you want to shop at Chelsea Market, you're going to need a kitchen. Rent a furnished apartment or vacation rental from New York Habitat and you'll live like a local in Chelsea, including having your own fully equipped kitchen. There are far too many great restaurants in Chelsea to mention them all. However, here are a few that I think are worth visiting. Don Giovanni at 214 10th Avenue. Del Posto at 85 10th Avenue. 
Moonstruck Diner at 400 West 23rd Street and Budokan at 79 9th Avenue. Chelsea has also got some great cafes and bakeries. Here are a few that you're sure to enjoy. Café Grumpy at 224 West 20th Street. La Graine Café at 183 9th Avenue. And Billy's Bakery at 184 9th Avenue. And if you're looking for bars and lounges, here are a few to get you started. Rain's Law Room at 48 West 17th Street. And if you're in the mood for a casual, fun, and unique bar setting, come visit the Frying Pan. This historic light ship was built in 1929, spent three years at the bottom of the Chesapeake Bay, and has now been salvaged and restored as the ultimate dive bar. Well, my friends, that's a wrap of the second half of our video series dedicated to Chelsea. If we've missed any of your favorite spots in the neighborhood, make sure you share them with us in the comment section below. And if you're coming to New York, be sure to visit our website at nyhabitat.com and book a vacation rental or furnished apartment with New York Habitat. You'll find furnished apartments all over Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens. I'm David Hill with New York Habitat. Thank you for joining us in our video tour today, and we hope to see you soon in the city that never sleeps.